This is St James's Park, home to Premier League and now Champions League club Newcastle United. Hello, my name is Richard and welcome to another episode of Grassroots Football Journeys where we look at the history and home grounds of another local football club. Now you may be wondering why I'm here at a Premier League ground when this is meant to be Grassroots Football Journeys. Well in this episode we're going to look at the grassroots origins of Newcastle United and it all began here in the east end of the city at the end of the 19th century. This is the story of Newcastle East End FC. <laughs> Now there has been some debate about the exact origins of Newcastle United but it did begin here in South Biker in 1881 with a formation of Stanley FC. The club was formed when Stanley Cricket Club started a football section and they were named after Stanley Street where they originally played now this part of Walker Road behind St Peter's Social Club. In 1882, the club changed its name to Newcastle East End to avoid confusion with a club called Stanley from County Durham, and they moved here to play behind St Michael's Church, what is now part of the Biker Wall Estate. This estate will be familiar with fans of 1990s children's TV as it was a location of Biker Grove, which saw the first appearance on our screens of this pair of famous Newcastle United fans. The club were on the move again in 1884 and they moved here to Dalton Street. Nothing now remains to suggest that the club that became Newcastle United ever played here, but it's likely that they played on the land that is now next to the railway lines. In 1889, Newcastle East End became the first North East club to turn professional and they became founder members of the Northern League later that same year. By then they'd moved again here to Heaton Junction just off Chillingham Road next to the railway. The ground was one of the best in the country at the time with a great pitch, a large wooden pavilion and even a press box. Up until the early 1890s there had also been another club in the city, Newcastle West End and they had moved in to St James's Park in 1886. Up until then it had just been a patch of sloping grazing land behind Lees's Terrace. But when Newcastle West End hit financial problems and folded completely in 1892, Newcastle East End took over the lease at St James's Park and this became their new permanent home. Initially the club was still known as Newcastle East End and oddly played in red and white striped shirts, very similar to that of rivals Sunderland. Later in 1892, the club decided to change its name to better reflect the fact that they were now the only club left in the city and Newcastle United were born. However, it wasn't until 1904 that the club adopted the black and white striped kit that is now synonymous with all things Geordie. Many years later, a new unrelated Newcastle East End FC emerged playing here at Miller's Dean, which we featured in an earlier episode when we looked at Heaton Stannington, who also once played here. The ground is now used by Newcastle East End Reserves and Daisy Hill Boxing Club. The club, formed in 1995, are now a thriving hub of local junior football and play here at the Swan Recreation Ground. With teams from under 7s right through to under 17s, including girls teams in most age groups, Newcastle East End FC are once again a leading name in North East local football. My name is Richard and this has been the latest episode of Grassroots Football Journeys where we've looked at the grassroots origins of Newcastle United Football Club. If you have enjoyed this episode, why not give it a like and please consider subscribing to the channel where we not only feature these great little football documentaries, we also bring you some unique drone footage. We'll be back next time with another episode of Grassroots Football Journeys where we'll look at the history and home grounds of another local football club. Join us for that one coming very soon.